Sammy from Dietitians of Palm Valley here. And although I'm a dietitian and I absolutely love food and nourishing people's bodies, I hate fad dieting. Welcome to Fuck Diet Culture Friday. I was doing so good on my diet until Diane brought treats in the office and totally went off the wagon. I'm so pissed about their wedding. Like I was doing so good with my whole 30 diet and then their wedding came and I just freaking blew it and I have to start all over. I was doing so good on my diet until my boyfriend surprised me with this weekend getaway, which I want to go, but like it's going to totally mess up my diet. I'm so thankful for these like weekly girls nights that we do. But I don't know if I can keep coming because honestly, like this wine and everything, it's just totally messing with my diet. We were at this funeral last week. It was so sad. But honestly, like with all the stress, like it's just completely messed up my diet. Well, since we're on vacation, I might as well just blow my diet. I mean, I'll just start it when I get back. It's fine. This is Sammy from Dietitians of Palm Valley and happy Fuck Diet Culture Friday. This week we're covering why all fad diets do not work. Yes, I said it, all fad diets do not work. I don't care what diet it is, enter any name here and we'll continue to cover more specific ones week after week, but I just wanted to do a generalized one because all diets suck. And the reason why is because these diets are making you believe that there's a perfect plan that you can follow, that if you just execute this plan perfectly, that everything's gonna be great, you're gonna be happy, you're gonna get to the weight that you wanna be, and life is gonna be grand. Now that's wonderful if you're sitting at home like a hermit, never leaving, never, eating out, not going to a social event, not traveling, but we have to be realistic about what life brings. It's already mid-September right now and the holidays are upon us. There's gonna be more social events. There's gonna be more traveling. And all of that should be fun. We should not be looking at this like a stress ball, like, oh my gosh, the holidays are coming, it's gonna ruin my diet. That is so silly. Now, in this video, when I was using the word diet, I was referring to a fad diet. When we use the word diet at Dietitians of Palm Valley, what we're saying is simply what you eat and drink. So I like to use a bullseye approach to describe this. There's home, then work, then social, then travel, then the unexpected life events that we simply have zero control over. The bullseye approach to, to diet, what you're eating and drinking, is realistic. It's saying let's build skill sets in all of these rings so that we don't ever feel like a failure. All of these diets are gonna say follow this magic plan and everything will be great, but life is freaking crazy and there's gonna be times that you can't follow that plan, which then is gonna make you feel like a failure, which is not true. You are not a failure if you can't meal prep 17,000 meals each week and eat chicken, broccoli, and rice for weeks on end. You have to be realistic about what you're putting into your body and how food is social, it's cultural, it's fun, it's family, and that is a good thing. So this week, I'm here to remind you that you are not a failure if you weren't able to stick to a diet at some point in your life. That diet set you up for failure. Hey there, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to go to nomorehangry.com to grab your free guide to start your anti-diet journey today. Again, go to nomorehangry.com.